you look at the number of short buys hedge funds as tracked by HFR, and it's fallen dramatically from 50 something to uh, 14 now, 50 something in 2008 and 14 in about 2023, 2024. How much does the rate environment overall contribute to the shrinking universe of short selling funds, do you think? Well, I think the rate environment is, is probably the, the first or second derivative. I mean, it's really the, the ongoing persistence of the bull market, which has now been 15 years. And we saw something similar, Scarlet, in the late 90s, where the, the number of short, short bias funds um, by 1999 and 2000 really had dwindled to a handful. Um, and, and people just got exasperated. And, and that was right before there was really 10 years from 99 to 09 of just fantastic returns on the short side um, and two bear markets, of course. But I, I think that, that really it's the length of time uh, beyond just Fed policy, although Fed policy certainly had a lot to do with it in the last 10 years. Now, I introduced Chanos and Company. It's now a family office and advisory instead of a hedge fund right. firm, right? Yep. You are investing in the market, though. I'm curious how you're investing in the market right now. Well, and we're advising clients. Um, look, I mean, this is the, I just uh, uh, advised a, a client on, on a put basket strategy this afternoon. And, and right now, what we're seeing in the universe of companies we follow is probably it's as attractive a time as it was in the first half of 2021. And, and I've said publicly that 2021 was the most speculative market I've ever seen in my 40 years, of, 45 years of investing. And um, we're getting back to that. Not quite there, but it's close. And you've seen it with things like the meme stocks again. And um, my God, we're still we're, we're starting to price SPACs again. Uh, you know, there's the, <laughs> there three, billion, three billion of does, SPACs does priced. Give, does that give you agita, Todd, particularly the run-up we saw in GameStop? And yeah, I mean, SPACs are somehow trying to claw their way well, out of the grave. People have always yeah. said, well, well, what about the Fed, yeah. uh, per your first question? Um, and I always said, well, give Wall Street enough time. The Fed is not the only one with a printing press. Wall Street does a pretty good job at, at, at issuing pieces of paper when people really want them.